godly fucking firestorm on you. And good evening, this is Wolfman right there here, and we are reviewing the Hatsuharu. Alright, as you can plainly see in the background here, this is my... <laughs> have to shudder. Um, re having to play the Hatsuharu again. Didn't like it the first time, but I'm not going to ruin the review of this right now. Okay, now as you can plainly see here, that... I am not, I, even though I do have the XP, I could pimp this out and everything else so that I'm not. And there's a, actually a reason why. Now, I'm just going to show you just the torpedoes themselves. Okay, now I, I highlighted over the Type 8 torpedoes, which is your second one, and you'll see the stats. There's one stat reason why I didn't go to the next set of torpedoes. The Torp Speed, minus 4. 50, 59 knots, even though it gives you 10 kilometer range, your torpedoes will hit nothing unless it's a ship so far in the back that's literally not paying attention to nothing that it will actually hit. So I chose speed so I can have 63 knots compared to longer range. Again, everybody's taste is different, but I want to actually be able to hit my ships even though I have to get closer to do it. Okay. Now, then switch to the B-Hull. The only thing that does is take away stuff from you. So, again, you'd rather run it with not upgrading your torps. You can upgrade your hull. And, of course, you always want to upgrade your fire control. So, that's number one. So... I'm running with, as you can see here, the captain is the base captain that they give you when they did split. Now, I did play a couple of games inside of it, so I do have the extra one here for that, but you already know for that. Torpedo reload, superintendent, basic fire training. You need these to start out with. And even then, it's just something you need to do. I do have a 15 point captain that I did put inside of this afterwards to see if it got better, but it really didn't. At the end, you'll see my overall grade. So let's jump into the battle. All right, here we go into the battle here. Um, as you can see, this is basically par for the course. And our, my team is lemon training. And I even put in the notes, please do not lemon train north. Because, I mean, I'm not sure why people decide to do this. Because all that does is let people encircle you. Okay. Repo bug there, sorry. All it does is let them encircle you. And when you are in a circle location, basically they can pick you off from all sides. So basically I'm saying good game for my team because really that's the last thing you want to do. Okay, so I'm going to do my job the way I always do it. Alright, so I'm going to get to this area as fast as I can because at least if they let me training, if I can keep them spotted, at least they can get some shots off and maybe take out enough targets before I get dead. Okay, so see the Alba. Now I know by now so that since we have five DDs on their team that well at least one or two DDs are usually gonna be south. Okay, so as you see me here, I am struggling to get my guns around because again, this is one of the things that is driving me crazy with the split. They've made the guns ultra ultra slow to rotate so that in and of itself is very bad okay now you see me getting in close let mine off and i'm immediately trying to get Engine back around the island and not popping my smoke now you're probably wondering okay why did i not pop smoke um because 
they're going to be more focused on firing at the other guys on that side than firing at me but they will switch targets as you can see now okay cut my speed and hide behind the rock because you know if I kept going at that speed well I was going to get nailed so again you have to play to the Hatsuharu strengths, and there's not a lot of them. So you definitely want to try to maximize your stealth if you can. And you will have to take a bit more chances. Like the Fuzo's coming up. So I'm waiting for him right here. Now I know that there's a DD, and there it is. I'm trying to sneak myself forward just enough so I can catch sight of him because I knew he had to be around. Hit the brakes. Again, it takes forever to switch back. And here they go firing at me now. now I knew the Fuzo was going to do that. Hit my smoke now. Smoke Since I know he's going to be close. And let my torpedoes go a little bit behind trying to catch him, but it wasn't I should have put it back a little bit further, but I was afraid of hitting the rock. But I could have put it a little bit further back. And now I'm going to guns. Now, at this point here, I am trying my best to light him up. Okay, some good damage there. No damage. Again, that's the other problem. Your shells are not, for some odd reason, are not doing a lot of damage. Or they're hitting the target and just bouncing off. Harmlessly ricocheted. And look at that. Three shells ricocheted. That shouldn't happen. Okay. So I'm going to stroll forward now. And I know they're using acoustics to tell for me to get the hell out of the area as fast as I possibly can. So at this point here, I know there's a DD behind the little island right there. I'm not keeping a straight course because I want to make sure to maximize my chance of actually dodging shots. Because I'm going to be the primary target. Okay, well, there's a fighter. And there's the album. Resort to my guns first to try to light him up. Get a fire going, but nope. So, shot down. Now, that's one good thing about the Hatsuharu. It does have good AA guns. Okay, good is overstating it. But I can actually shoot down something with the AA. Whereas most of the other ones, I can't shoot down anything. Now you're probably wondering, why am I still firing on this guy? Well, because I am already caught between the crossfire between there and there. And I wanted to get some shots in. Now I'm hitting my boost and getting the hell out of the area. Now, I can't bob and weave too much because I gotta make clearance to get away from the Norberg. Now I'm trying to put some waves in. Little small S's is enough to make them miss. Now I'm not spotted anymore. And again, you still wanna keep bobbing and weaving, doing S's because if not, you will get killed. All right, so. I wasn't able to kill the apple on that turn there. My torps are up. Now, in front of me is a small island right here. There's a couple of small ones besides the big one. So I have to get to a spot where I can get around one of those islands there before I get cut off by the Alba. All right, so drop two torps. And my goal is to head straight ahead and try to get behind these islands here. Now, see, he's actually closing faster than I wanted him to be. He's going to be in my detection range suit, so I have to go slightly this way where I wanted to get between those two there. Okay? Now, mistake he's making is he's still on the same course, and he's stuck between an island. So he can't turn unless he's going to turn into the island itself and die. Take two torpedoes. Okay? Now, I fired my guns so the Nuremberg is be able to get a beat on me again now I start firing right now because I'm almost at the point where I can go around it 
Now this is the thing. Since your guns turn so slowly, there was no way for me to keep my guns on a target when I made that sharp turn. That's a death sentence if that was another DD I was fighting. So I'm backing up enough, see where he's at. Get one off. Get another one off. He can't see me just yet. And I'm gonna light him up with the guns again. And back into the Shadow of the Island. That's the thing you have to learn to do. Use any concealment that you can to duck behind it. Now, I can plainly see that the torpedo's missed. But I did make him change course, so he's not coming directly towards me right here. He's going back further this way here. So I'm going to reverse to see if he's going to change course. And I see he's still coming to this way here. Which is a problem. And now I got detected by... A fighter which is even worse because now he's going to be right up on me hit my smoke try to get a last beat on him and get some shots in wait the last possible moment and pop torpedoes now only one set now he can see me at this range here but it's too late Now, since my speed is so slow and the turning is so bad, there's nothing more I can actually do. But I did my job. I lit up everybody on that side and I made it so that he had to come in to get me. So it's a win. Speed is something it does not have. That's number one. So that's a low score. Guns turning slowly. Again, another low score. The amount of guns, again, lowers the score. I hated this the first time I went through it and I have the exact same opinion of it now, even though it's supposed to be upgraded. To me, they actually made it worse than what it already was. So, at the end, you'll see my final grade. I have a graphical representation of that. Um, let's go on to the post game. All right. Well, as you can see, it's a victory here. Um, damage is 42,915. Um, a lot of shots fired. Again, if you use the other set of torpedoes, the slower ones or the longer range, you will not hit anything. But I use a shorter one so I can able to get four hits with the torpedoes. Now, you can know by the matchmaking, I was basically in a tier six match, which is good. Um, in higher tiers, again, I played this afterwards, but it's a struggle to do anything decent inside of this ship. But I'll give you more of a growth grade in just a minute. Okay. So, as you can see here, it's for that. You fire fire faster, but you're not really doing a lot of damage with your shots. Then use uh, armor piercing in this case here, because again, wanted to use the HE just to show that the damage, how much lower it is when you just use HE only. You can use the AP if the ship that you're firing at is um, broadside to you, but other than that, you're gonna have problems, okay? Get my torpedoes or the thing you, you're going to do most damage with. So, so here's the grade. My grade on it is 